What's well, going on everybody? Come back. It's headlamp upgrade time. Ten Outdoor Crew, how are you doing? This is Patrick, and I got a new headlamp. I had to. My other one is starting to fail. And I say it's starting to fail. It's been starting to fail for the last, actually, last few campouts I've taken it on. Um, first time it happened, I thought it was batteries. I said, okay, it's batteries. Put new batteries in. Next camping trip, no. It's doing it again. If it hadn't been for it was warm weather and I thought maybe it was cold, you know, maybe it's cool that day, but it really wasn't cool enough to make the batteries go down that quick. <clears throat> so this last camping trip me and Chloe went on. I took it, tried to give it another shot. Thank God I took my old light with me and I had it in the headlamp configuration because it started doing it again. I'm going to do a separate video on it showing you what it's doing. Um, I have had this headlamp for probably two or three years now. So maybe just from all the travel and the banging and the binging and all that good stuff, maybe it's just due. I don't know. But so what I went with is the Black Diamond Spot. Um, I'm going to give you a little rundown on the box itself, what it says. Top lumens is 325. It's IPX8 waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. Up to one meter for 30 minutes. So you can get it wet and that's a good thing because sometimes hiking, camping, backpacking, whatever, you can get a rain shower and you need to use your headlamp. Um, other features uh, does, you know, it has the strip, the strip strap that goes around your head. It does tilt. As you see, you got a couple different options on how it how she sit rides, you know, the angles you're looking at. Um, now I'm gonna open up the instructions because I do look at the instructions to see what's going on with this thing. Now to turn it on, let's see, let me make sure. All right, turn it on. It's just simple press. Hit the button, it's on. Um, I think it's at its max when you first turn it on. It is. To dim it, <clears throat> you hold it down. Oh, we went brighter. And it starts dimming. Now, say you want that as your starting point on your flashlight. Once it's down to that level or any level, hit the power button off, turn it back on. Guess what? It's at that level. So then you can get past that. Uh, let's see. Even, here's a good thing. One of the things I say in all my, anything I talk about headlamps, the one thing the old light does not do, and I wish they would figure out a way to make it do, is it doesn't have a red light. Now, I know some people say that that's buoy, but I can tell the difference in my old eyes. If I turn on a white light and it's a pretty dark area, it takes me, you know, a little time to get used to once I've turned it off to get my night vision back. The red works for me. It may not work for everybody, but it does for me. So that's what this thing has. And guess what? It's dimmable also. As you see, it dims down and comes right back up. And now the other good part is if I want it on my red light when I start out, I'm going to just turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. It's red again. Now, another cool feature. Let me get over to the main light. The other cool feature, oh, I just did it. Right here on the side, you see the little sun and this little thing here. If you tap it, it turns it full blast. Tap it again. Whoop, there it goes. Turns off the full blast. 
Uh, you can also lock it and do a couple of little things. Like I said, I'm still learning this light. Now, here's the other cool feature. Ready? Strobe. And not only can you do strobe in white, you can do it in red. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, here's the other cool thing is if it's in strobe and you turn it off, turn it back on, it comes back on a solid red. So I like that feature too. It's got a lot of features I'm still learning and I don't know them 100%. You can lock it and unlock the lights where they, you know, you don't accidentally turn it off or whatever, whatever reason. Um, it seems like it's going to be a pretty cool light. Now, I paid a little money for it. It was about 40 bucks total tax and out the door. But, you know, the old saying, when you get what you pay for, I hope that stands true with this thing, and I hope it lasts me forever. Now, I can say the same thing for this, which I hadn't touched in years, and probably about, honestly, I hadn't touched it in probably three or four years. Guess what? Yeah, it still works. We've all seen those at Walmart, and those, that's what I used for the first few years in scouting. Um, so anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about right now. It's just a, kind of an overview of the light. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I love my old light. I love it as a headlamp. I love it as a regular flashlight, too. The one con is it doesn't have the red light, and I like the red light at night. Now, early evening, I might use the white, but then as soon as it starts getting really dark and you're just firing that kind of stuff, I want the red light. That's it for now. I uh, hope I made this a little bit shorter. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and all that good stuff. Go check out my affiliate links down below. Remember, if you buy anything through those affiliate links, it helps out Old Mid-10 Outdoors to buy more equipment, to do more things. The Jeep trip... By the time you see this, will have been pretty much planned out over the past weekend. And there's something new about the Jeep. Majorly new. Um, so anyways, that's it for now. Um, I wish I had more to tell you, but I don't. May start doing a little vlogging on Thursdays. We'll see. I hadn't made up my mind yet. At some point, I'm going to get a live, live uh, stuff going, too. That's it for now. Make sure you check out uh, whatever pops up over here and subscribe and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Be prepared.